co-main event in what is a quote-unquote UWFI rules matchup. Gary Albright, Brock Lesnar. This is going to be awesome. So, the basically because Fire Pro, they have this SWA rules thing, which is kind of like their made-up ideology of like, it's having... Like, you can't do, like, um, basically, like, pro wrestling type moves, like, um, like, crazy ass, like, Ranas or stuff like that. More like, you know, traditional wrestling, but with rounds. And, uh, the, basically, we're gonna set the rounds up for five, or for three five minute rounds, rather. Three five minute rounds. And there's two ways to win either by submission or if you knock the guy out three times, or if you're obviously critical. Because we're going to have the criticals to be on for this one. I'm excited for this one, though. This sh I mean, this is going to be unreal. I mean, Gary Albright, probably the only person to like make Brock Lesnar look like a normal human. If you were to put him in the same ring together. And I think this is going to be a lot of fun. They're going to beat the shit out of each other. It's going to be electric. Absolutely electric. The Beast... Brock Lesnar. Gonna be looking to beat the shit out of people. And by beating the shit out of people, <laughs> beating the shit out of this man, or trying to, and Gary Albright. Mr. Mr. fucking suplex here. Fuck Brock Lesnar. This man will suplex your fucking ass out. Yeah, this, this should be very interesting. To see how the three five minute rounds will go. So we got a body slam. The knee to the back of the head. Test of strength here. Obviously, if Gary Albright's probably going to win that out nine times out of ten here. Another body slam. So that's the thing, they could kind of do a lot of grappling and slams of that nature and some strikes, but just can't really do a lot of the over-the-top things, which this is kind of perfect for both men because they don't do any of those things anyways. They're going to look to beat the shit out of one another. So far, we're seeing a lot of uh, stuff in the corner, but I, I did like that SDO from Gary Albright. Oh my god. Snap power slam, though. And it's funny, I mean, this Gary Albright edit, I mean, it doesn't, like, give him justice just how big of a man he was. I mean, he was a absolute unit. We got a side walk slam from Gary Albright. Get an elbow there. Oh, Iron's carry takeover. Oh, Gary Albright is, I'm about to say, he's in big, big trouble here. Oh, nice little body scissors. That was a nice go behind for Gary, though. Oh, to the outside. That was, we're not used to that in, uh, in this type of setting. The fireman's carry, though. So far, we haven't really seen, like, a knockout. Yeah, the referee will come over and, like, do, do a little signal for the one. Well, we got an arm bar, though. Gary Albright not going to get to the ropes. I don't think it really matters, to be honest, because, I mean, I don't think there's a rope break. There might be, though. Kind of forget, but uh, Gary Albright going for one as well. Got three minutes left for this round. If there is somehow not a, a, a winner, I believe there is a judge's scorecard that uh, will go to. It's interesting to really tell as far as who's going to win this round here to judge it by that. I mean, really, they've been doing about the same thing. Kind of tick for tat. Gary, though, with a fucking choke. I mean, that's illegal. <laughs> Can't do that. See what Gary does against the ropes again. Into the corner. Body splash. With an ankle lock. Of course, Gary Albright alternate on the Heavyweight team of the Olympics, I want to say 96. 
Might have been 92 now I'm thinking about it. Um, because I'm like, oh my god, what a fucking power bomb though from Brock Lesnar. That really turned the tide. So I definitely think it was 92, not 96. That'd have been awesome if he was. Because <laughs> he was like a UWFI around that time in Ultra Pan. He's right back up into the Yuranaki. And there's a belly of the belly. From Gary Albright. Now the cross arm bar onto Brock. I mean, this is looking like it's going to go the distance. Well, that's, I mean, one way to go about that. We get a ramp spot, almost. I can't believe we're on the outside of this matchup. I'm glad they're coming back in here. Because Brock, uh, I mean, come on, ref. Come on, Bryce. Let's, let's get him back in there. A minute left in the round. Oh, there's that German suplex from Gary Albright. And see if he's going to answer the count. Looks like he will at five. Three might have been too much. We might have could have just had it at one, but I respect the three. And that is four. And just running over Gary. Oh, Gary up right now. Is he going for a power bomb? He is with a stack pin. Not like that's gonna matter here. They're just fighting, fighting each other off here. Just under 20 seconds left in the round. Backdrop for Brock. And they're going to look for the TKO. Don't think it's going to be enough. It's 10 seconds. Let's see if anyone can pull out some magic. Another body slash. Swipping him back into the corner. Oh, that could have been... After the bell, glad we get a little continuity there. Brock, with a Uranaga to start off round two. One, Waiting for that first two, TKO. Three, Gary's taking a while. Five, He's back up at six, seven, seven eight. Hey, that's close. I got a bad feeling. That might be one knockout here this one, round. Two, three, four, Brock gets five. up at five. Here, Albright with a butterfly suplex. Oh, he's going to get countered in a backdrop to the floor. You'd think the time would stop when someone would leave the ring, but it is what it is. Gary Albright now. Go behind. Uh, went for probably that suplex. Brock bounces around. Be crazy. Bust out an F5 right here. Double Gary Albright again. With a release German. Both men back up. Brock's out on his feet. Another... German suplex. Let's see if he can make it back up to his feet. He does at the count of four. Brock is a fucking machine. I know that much. There's a lariat in the corner. Oh, here it comes. F5. That's it. That's gotta be the first TKO. Yeah, I mean, he's not even up at seven. That's gotta be it. That's it. So, basically the idea there, I know that was kind of awkward to, to kind of go through as far as you're probably thinking like, oh, I thought it was like you get three of those. Like, no, no you get you get one till ten, but if you get knocked down three times like that in the round, it, that, that's basically it. But that's a great performance from both guys, and that's a great finish. It's an F5 knocks out Gary Albright. And our main event in a dream match my opinion, the Roshi Tanahashi versus CM Punk should be a fun one. We'll see how it plays out.